All right, so a lot of you probably seen my control panel that I've made actually quite a while ago. That was still like on the Mark 1, Mark 2 version of this, still on low boost. 16 mil uh, steel tubing. I think I can make it lighter. One of the reasons, okay, okay, before you say, oh, this guy is completely crazy. I had to change the design of this a little bit because I changed the panel and stuff like that. So it's almost like it's been modified a few times. Also, it's not the correct offset. So I have to use like uh, plastic washers, as you can see here, um, which basically opens up, gives me this gap too much. So I think what we're going to do is literally replace this with aluminium, which is going to be A, lighter, and B, going to fit much better. So let's take this one off and uh, make a new one. I'm actually thinking maybe I should make it out of carbon fiber. <gasps> That's a good one! Yeah. Alright, my equally as obsessive weight saving viewers, what do you think? I took it out. I mean it's it's uh It's not very beefy, it's quite lightweight, but go down into the comment section, let me know. What do you think this thing weighs? Have you written it down? Come on, let's play this game. Ready? 12 seconds later. <sighs> 1.53 kilos. 1.53 kilos. That is actually quite heavy, even holding it like that. Or oh, I probably need to go to the gym. 1.35 kilos. Okay. We wanted 500 grams, no more. So we're losing a kilo from there. Achievable? I think so. What I have here is aluminium tubing. It's the same same diameter, but it's aluminium. Um, although I think the wall is quite thick. Hmm. I think carbon fiber. Yeah. All right, so after a bit of measuring, I've decided that we're definitely doing it out of carbon fiber. Should be easy enough. So what we need is we need to make those out of aluminium, similar. I'm actually pre-cutting it right now. So I will lathe it and uh, thread it. And we need to have a few length of this pipe, which is uh, 16 mil. And then we'll literally just weld it onto those. So we'll make a uh, little L-shape brackets. So we need four of those. They will go in the corner and then what we do, we literally cut the carbon fiber tube to length and then we epoxy it together. So we'll have this square shape. Um, same goes for here. Um, I think we'll be able to weld it onto each end and we need four little sort of flat washer pieces type things that we can actually weld onto the tubes. I think for the feet maybe this one and this one maybe we can use um aluminium aluminium tubing i mean it's it's a lot a lot lighter um, i've calculated that the length of pipe i've used here is uh, 1.5 meters um, and those little things they weigh 90 grams each and it's four of them that's 400 grams just for the um, crazy half a meter of this pipe and we need three of those is 173 grams so overall it's 519 so by doing all of this even if it was aluminium we're barely barely about 500 so 600 so that's a considerable saving but reducing it even further by introducing carbon fiber i think we're definitely on target to be under 500 grams um, i'm actually quite excited about that that's quite Quite an interesting, uh, delicate sort of project, I would say. Um, totally unnecessary, I know, that's what you're gonna say, but I'm still waiting for a few parts, and uh, Bedford is not until 26th of April, so we definitely have seven weeks. So yeah, um, let's get to fabrication. So 
made a start a couple of days ago on this. Uh, I didn't really film it. I was just too excited to try it out and see if I can actually weld it like that. It works. Um, so the idea is that this little square now is basically four corners that I can use. So what I will do is I will cut them when the time is right. And then we have the carbon tube. carbon tube that goes in there and then will be epoxy anyways so what I have here as well <coughs> is kind of a jig four holes topped into a 10 mil um, steel plate this is the same as the original one so I know that whatever I build from from this jig will actually be exactly the same because it has the same feet and what we have to do now is start building it to the same height to the same offset to the same angle I think I will make it a lot easier is actually I will build the whole thing from aluminium tubes why because it'll be a lot easier rather than making these joints because you see here for example I have three coming in at specific angle two in there, two in there. So if I make everything from aluminium, what I can do afterwards is literally cut. For example, if I want to replace this one with carbon fiber, we'll just cut it here, cut it here, and then we'll slot the carbon tube in the middle, epoxy it, making it lighter. At least this way I know that once it's built, it's built, it's all perfect. And then we can just replace those things with carbon. Um, a lot easier than actually making it straight from carbon. I know, cheating a little bit. So something like this it's a slightly different no shape is pretty much the same it's just a slightly different tilt uh, it's a little bit more to the left a bit more to the front and it's slightly larger I'm trying to make it as before really because it was a really good position I could actually sit and you know I could kind of touch everything but it was a little bit too far away and a little bit too small so this one is actually good it's quite a pain to um, weld it the main reason being is that it's all sort of free hanging I mean if this stuff I've done before it just lays on the thing you can actually clump it together here you can't really clump those tubes so I'm really putting all my ingenuity into it um, I think I think it's gonna work out all right and it's going to be a fraction of the weight so we'll save at least a kilo here um, yeah I mean why not So the end bits have been painted looking very nice and 
satin black or maybe it's gloss so now I need to unwrap it all and I think we're literally ready to glue it all together in situ which means I will assemble it all in the car because once the glue sets being carbon it's not like it's um, steel or aluminium where you can actually bend it ever so slightly into place the four mounting points in the center they're very precise so if we are off by a little bit it will just bend the the tubes and i don't really want that so let's unwrap the end bits yeah be good 20 minutes later happy many reasons one of them is vm100 is not as good as i thought it was going to be weirdly it's probably the consistency it's just because the tolerance is so high it just didn't stick and plus you just don't have time so that thing even though it's quite rigid sloppy as hell i don't even want to show you the close-ups guys i mean mind you nobody's ever going to look at the sort of really close up but yeah there's sort of glue sticking out and marks and all my painting job is peeled off and stuff like that but never nevertheless it's quite quite rigid so what we need to do we need to put a blanking plate in here because um, that's where some of the components and uh, thingy bobs were bolted onto to my old one so off cuts as always i always keep off cuts so we'll cut that plate to go into here and also i made um, a brand new plate which is here that thing will go into the main control panel of course kevlar i just absolutely love kevlar that's my old one and it was just black carbon a bit boring um, so something like this but on top of the kevlar all right let's cut them So yeah that's about it i'm really happy how it turned out um well saying that i'm really happy is really kind of bending the truth i'm actually quite unhappy because 
gluing it together was an absolute nightmare it actually like i said before some of the paint peeled off and it's just a little bit it's not what i expected i really expected it to sort of just come together like super perfect but it wasn't perfect but saying all that the panel is there and it's fairly i mean it kind of flexes a bit but it it it, it, it will it will serve it's lighter about a kilo lighter so that's a good thing it's slightly larger so i can actually attach my um timer not the timer yeah the um what's it called aim aim uh, solo 2 dl that i bought um because obviously we're not allowed to use mobile phones anymore even though you only use it for timing and um, stuff like that yeah it's carbon fiber it's lighter and um it's pretty much the same design as before so nothing really changed in that sense i did bring it a bit more forward so now that when i'm sitting before i had to kind of reach fully with my hand extended now it's a lot easier you see i can actually literally just do whatever you know the the kill switch and my extinguisher at the bottom and all the other functions yeah so guys thank you very much for watching this video i hope you liked it and i hope you get inspired by this little uh, dash panel that i made um it's all fairly easy uh, straightforward something a little bit unique if anybody wants my old one it's up for grabs um anyways thank you very much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this thing and i'll see you in the next one bye